Hi guys, Ishgard Housing is almost here, so I thought I'd share how to make my favorite windows. You need the following items to get started. Mason work stoves, a factory petition, glade cupboards, cheese collections, stage panels, assorted candles, and some wood slats. These will also be listed in the description below. Starting in the basement, place three mason work stoves. These will form the main pillars between the windows. I like to change the direction they're facing since the pattern of the stone is different on both sides and won't look quite so repetitive. Keep in mind though, if you do this, since the chimney is positioned towards the back of the item, the gap between the pillars will be a little tough to judge, but as you can see, I just keep checking the space as I'm lining them up. Next, grab another two mason work stoves. For these stoves, you'll want to line them up as close as possible. I find it easiest to use the black line where the textures overlap. And now you'll be able to gauge the distance between the pillars better, so make sure they're even. The last two stoves are going at either end and will frame some paneling that we'll be adding in later. Give it one last check, and then it's time to start floating. There are a bunch of great tutorials and guides on how to do this, so I'm going to skip over a lot of it. You can use a loft or a shelf here. I usually use a loft. That way I can grab more at one time. Grab a glade cupboard and flip it around. Line it up within the alcove we've made. Push it back far enough so that it's sitting just in front of the stove and flip. Aim for the line that's right above the arch to be roughly level with where the stove starts to flare out. Do this for both sides, and don't forget to lock it in place. Okay, now that they're both up, grab your stage panel. I've dyed mine cream yellow and place it so it's just behind the arch of the glade cupboard. Right in front of that, you place the factory petition. Push it back far enough so that the cross beams are hidden. Getting closer with this might help.
and a little closer. Now it should look something like this. Right around now is where I was deciding if these few pixels peeking through were enough to trigger anyone, but I decided to just go with it for now. You'll also want to hide the horizontal beam in the middle of the partition, so just float it up until it's hidden by the glade cupboards. It's time to start adding wood slat petitions for the trim on the side of the windows. These can be laid in front of the glade cupboards to hide some of those engravings as well, if you'd rather float them from the floor below. In front of the slats, lay a three cheese collections. We're gonna fit them in between the two outermost mason work stoves. These will need to be floated from the floor below, and I'm gonna float the slats at the same time. And we're almost there. For this next part, I'll dim the lights. I like to add assorted candles hidden just behind the stage panel to give a warm glow to the window. Detach the candles using the tabletop glitch. For the second one, I like to off-center it just a tiny bit so it doesn't look too perfect.
and all that's left to do is clutter. Now you've got the basics, here are some variations using the same method. You can make a larger multi-pane window with tiered arches. Shrink it down to something small that fits the stairwell of a tower. Or try a different shape altogether. Maybe ditch the stage panel and candles for a window to let the sun rays fill your room. Or even add your favorite Phasma. Happy building!